So I've had several questions asking about what to do with the Welsh Rarebit that we made. And so there are a lot of different applications that we can use this for. Um, it's great because you can freeze it and you can keep it in the refrigerator. You can keep it in the refrigerator for about a week uh, or you can freeze it for up to a year as long as it's properly sealed. Uh, but so what other things can we do with that? So today we're just going to make some pastries. We're going to do it really easily. So we're actually going to take some biscuits, some pre-made biscuits. We're going to roll those out. We're going to put some inside there. I've got some onions that we've caramelized off already. We're going to add those in there to make some uh, some cheese and onion pasties. Take a little flour, sprinkle that down, and we're going to take our first of our biscuits, and we're just going to start rolling these out. Maybe a little sticky out of the freezer or out of the packet, depending on where you get them from. So we're going to roll these out. We want them to be evenly rolled, but what I'm aiming for today is to actually get them to be an oval shape. I don't want to add too much flour to it because I don't want it to be to the extent where they get dry on the outside, but just enough where they don't stick. Okay, so I've taken some of these caramelized onions that we have, and I've actually put those into my blender to blend them down. I'm gonna add in some of our Welsh rarebit now. So this will give us our cheese and onion, our rich cheese and onion filling. Um, I'm obviously making too much because I'm thinking there's gonna be a couple of other things that we're gonna use this for. So I'm gonna put this back into our bullet blender zip this up and that'll be a great filling for us to use. So now we have this nice smooth, rich and creamy cheese and onion dip that we have. I'm literally just going to put a scoop of it on each one. Right around here, just below the halfway mark. So definitely no more than that. I've got a bowl of water here, and I'm literally just gonna go around, around the edge of each of these. And that's because this is our glue. Great thing with pastry is where they're generally flour and water based. That flour and water produces a glue for us. And then we're literally just going to draw this over the top. And place them down. The pasties are now folded over in the half moon shapes. So all we're gonna do now, we've sealed them off on the edges with water. But what we're going to do now, with a little, uh, a little flour on our fork, is just make some indentations like this, just going around. Not only does it make a nice little pattern on the edges, but it just helps to really seal them off well. We don't want all of the filling to come bursting out part way through the baking process. And this just helps to ensure that we should be good to go. Last thing I'm going to do, I'll get a little butter, as these are biscuits. Butter makes biscuits even better. And I'm gonna go just over the top, a little splash of butter. They'll go in the oven at 375 degrees. I think probably about 15 to 20 minutes on these should take care of them. We'll take a look at them on the other side. As you can see, these turned out really nicely. Just take them out and you can have them as a great little snack or as a nice lunch. Very portable, could even go into a packed lunch to enjoy at school.